Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is gonna be a shop my stash for the next two weeks. Um, I'm gonna do what I did last time. I'm gonna go ahead and leave timestamps in the description box if you wanna skip ahead. If you just wanna see the recap of the last two weeks, this is where it starts. If you wanna skip ahead to shop in my stash, actually going through my collection, picking items out, I'll have the timestamp for that. Or if you just wanna see everything put back in the door with swatches, I'll also have the timestamp for that. Um, the reason is these videos tend to be really long. I don't know how many people like to watch all of them. Um, so if you just wanna skip ahead to a certain section, go ahead and do that. Um, again, these are really long videos. If you wanna grab a snack, if you wanna go ahead and shop my stash alongside me, let's go ahead and do that together. So let's go ahead and get started with what in here from the last two weeks the only thing that I pulled out is the lipsticks that I had for the month of November uh, these I already put away into my collection if you need a recap of what those lipsticks were you can watch the previous shop my stash or I'll have my uh, lipstick roulette linked in the cards in the description box basically every month I randomly choose lip products to use for the whole month um, they're not the only lip products that I'll be using for the month like if I bought some new lipsticks that I really want to try. I'll pull uh, two or three of those in. Um, otherwise, it'll just be roulette. So if you want the recap for the lipsticks that were in the month of November, again, check that uh, video. If you want to know the lipsticks that we picked up for the month of December, it's also in that video, but it will. Um, I'll have it here at the end of, um, like when I put everything back into the drawer, I'll do swatches of all the lip products that I'll that will be here for a month till January. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with uh, powders, like always. I had the Rimmel Stay Matte, uh, uh, I was gonna say set powder. What? Press powder. I really like this guy. Um, I have the shade Transparent. I think I have it in a different shade too, but I usually use Transparent. I really like it. Um, I, I feel like I like it a little bit more than the loose one that I currently am trying to finish. So it's going back to my collection. Another product or uh, powder that I really, really like is the, Na the NYX HD Finishing Powder, and this is in the shade Banana. I typically like uh, to use this to set, and to set under my eye. It has that little brightening because it's like a banana shade, so it really brights under my eye. Um, sometimes I use it in like the center of my forehead and like down my chin if I want like that kind of contoured look, I like to use it that way. Uh, Maybelline uh, Shine Free Loose Powder, and this is the shade Light. Uh, I actually really enjoyed this guy. It does have a little bit of tint to it. Um, it does have a shade, you know, a shade name. So I wasn't surprised that it has a little tint. I actually used the puff to apply it. I would just uh, pull some products, kind of like this, uh, into the puff. I'll do what... Uh, I think it was, I watched Wayne Goss talk about how you use this product, like you use loose powder on a puff. Kind of like rub it like that, tap off all the extra, and then like press it in a rolling motion. <laughs> Not that you really needed a demo, but that's how I use it and I actually really liked it. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in my collection. This was kind of an item that I wanted to make up my mind whether or not I like it. If I was going to declutter it or not. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I'm going to go ahead and put it back. Um, it does say shine free, but I don't know. I did get kind of um, dewy. I don't want to say greasy because I wasn't really that oily, but I did get dewy by the end of the day. I, I, I do tend to like that look and I use kind of primers that give me that dewiness anyways. So it didn't bother me. I, um, I'm keeping it. Laura Geller Baked, Balanced, and Brighten in uh, Golden Medium. Uh, this is in a project, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it in here. And then the last powder is the Milani Prep Set and Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder. Uh, I use this guy as a finishing powder, so I'll just buff it into my skin, kind of like blend everything together. Give, uh, give the skin a little bit of a healthy glow again, um, so I'm not looking like super matte or, you know dry just a little bit of illumination it's not super illuminating it's not like a you can't use it as a highlighter or anything like that but as a finishing powder it's really beautiful uh, i still do like my hourglass um, ambient lighting powder a little bit more the one in luminous light that's my favorite finishing powder but this one is pretty good next up let's go ahead and talk about bronzers in here uh i had three bronzers like singles and then um one in a palette i did have the bare minerals i think this is like all over 
like a, they call it like all over face color but this is in the shade warmth it's a bronzer um kind of like worried when i opened this guy because look how intense this looks but it looks so beautiful on the skin it's really easy to blend um i really enjoyed it i use it quite a few times um the bronzer that uh, the physician's formula bronze booster um this was really nice as well it's not as uh, soft as like the butter bronzers are uh, from Physicians Formula, like the, you know, like the formula of it is not as smooth and soft, but this one, you can go heavy handed. Uh, it looks really, really pretty. A very nice, like healthy boost to the skin. I, healthy boost, booster, haha. <laughs> uh, I really enjoyed it. And this is in light to medium. I don't know if they have another shade, but this is, this is light to medium in it. And I, I really like it, putting it back. And then the Luminous uh, Bronze Light like the ambient lighting bronzer this is so beautiful uh i did again this is a bronzer that i can go heavy handed it's not gonna look super uh, muddy or um dark on the skin it does have that glow kind of like a healthy glow it's so beautiful i'm gonna go ahead and uh pull it out but it's going back into my collection the other bronzer that was in here oh i have this one and i have the this, let's talk about the nude sticks this is i use this as a contour um like a cream contour it's really really pretty um it's very easy to blend i enjoy the tone of it the color of it uh it's perfect i did like it a lot and i'm gonna go ahead and uh pull it back and put it back into my collection i don't know why i like to keep this but i'm gonna keep it and i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna close it and then i'm gonna put it away Okay, the last bronzer is the one that's in the It Cosmetics uh, Live, Love, Laugh Vitality Face Disc. Okay, um, this guy. Uh, this is so pretty. It kind of has like a between a contour and a bronze kind of shade to it. It's so creamy, so soft. Uh, I, I love it. Again, I mentioned it last time, but I think this is the palette that kind of created my love for face palettes is beautiful um we'll talk about the blush and the highlights again i love them i love the shades they're just so suitable for like every day or if you want to do like a little bit more intense look build them up beautiful this highlight is just stunning it's um it's so beautiful it's kind it's not bam in your face but it leaves such a beautiful glow in the like on the face not bam in your face but leaves a beautiful glow so that's the face palette that i did have in here now let's go ahead and talk about blushes uh the two faced sweethearts perfect blush perfect flush blush in the shade is something about berry um this is so pretty it's it's like glowy it, it did feel kind of like it had um like micro shimmers but I mean, it's okay. Uh, it doesn't bother me having that. I, I love the glow that it gives. It doesn't last too long on the skin, but that's fine. Um, I really like it. I'm going to go ahead and pull it back into my collection. It's not my absolute favorite blush, but I do like it. Um, let's do the other blushes. I did have the Kylie Close to Perfect um, blush. This is so super neutral. Great for every day. The formula is very, very soft. It's kind of like the formula of... Um, this guy the patrick tall blush and this is in the shade she's sincere a very similar formula maybe this is a little bit more um satiny or this is matte but they're they're beautiful they're both easy easy to use buildable um if you want to go light you can go light if you really want that intense kind of like um they're, they're kind of like nude skin tone blushes, but if you want like that super healthy, like I'm flush, I came back from being outside and whatever, really cold, and you want that flush on the skin, these are beautiful. All right, more blushes. I had the e.l.f. blush and rose in here. Uh, I totally didn't use this guy, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it. I had uh, the NARS Dolce Vita blush in here. This is so pretty. It's um, that like berry, perfect for this time of the year color. I love the formula. I love the color. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. And then the last one is the Ciate London. This is in the shade Date Night. This is, I'll compare it quite a bit to Hourglass products where you can like just, 
it has that glow it's beautiful you just build it and you're fine building it um, it, it just has that beautiful beautiful glow it's not a chunky glow kind of like um, the one by Too Faced it's just stunning and looks really beautiful on the face I'm gonna go ahead and put it back into my collection for highlighters I did have um, the Dew Stick by Ciate London honestly I didn't use it so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it in here um, I had Anastasia Amrezi highlighter this is a beautiful highlight I really enjoy it um, I like the formula this is intense so I like that um, on certain days not every day and then the milk highlighter this is like the flex highlight in the shade lit it's so pretty and it's definitely like you're you're gonna be lit from within or lit with a lot of highlights um, it is intense so it's really really beautiful I'm gonna go ahead and put it back into my collection and then my two fun highlights were these two the Becca Shimmer and Skin Perfector in the shade Lilac Geode this was like really beautiful on the skin too it wasn't as intense as I thought it was gonna be I was kind of worried about it that I'm gonna look like lilac-y geode <laughs> um, it wasn't as in, as intense as it looks in the pan I enjoyed it I really like the formula of it and then the same with this guy is just that beautiful I love this formula um, from uh, Laura Geller well, I, I really like most of her products anyway this was so pretty and there it is right there it's kind of like that purpley shift to it too beautiful I'm gonna go ahead and pull both of these out and um let's see i guess we'll do the primers i honestly didn't use either of these primers because i'm trying to finish up some primers in my collection um I, I think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and leave the smashbox one in here and i'm gonna put this guy back um I, i'm close to finishing one of the primers so i, I think i want to use this guy i have so many primers like it's insane i got a, quite a few in subscription boxes recently so i need to get through the itty bitty ones so i'm keeping that one uh let's talk about concealers and mascaras in here i guess um these mascaras remain in here they're all still pretty good i still i don't i don't think i have I don't love this guy. This is by Anastasia. This is like the brow uh, pomade, but in a gel form. I don't love it. I like this guy better. The Essence Make Me Brow. My glitter glues in here. These stay in here. And these are the concealers I pulled in. The Revlon Candid Concealer and the CoverGirl True Blend. This is was this was too light. I, just kinda, I hate sometimes like ordering stuff online or even in store. Like it looked it was a little too light for me i did have to mix it with a little bit darker concealer which is fine because i do have a little bit darker one in a project pan so i did mix it but i can't really tell the formula um when i do mix it like that so i'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and i'm gonna pull out this candid concealer i don't know i didn't feel like as uh wonderful about it as uh tati or uh um, Brianna Fox kind of like made me think it was gonna be I, I, it wasn't as I don't know maybe I need to play with it a little bit more but I thought it was gonna be amazing and I'm gonna have like wonderful brand new skin under my eye it was a good concealer nothing great uh, I did not use this one this is the Rimmel Stay Matte uh, concealer this I, I kind of wasn't sure if I'm gonna keep this in my collection or not I didn't use it so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it in here uh this guy i'm trying to finish i should just pull it out put it in a different spot and the same with this i'm gonna go ahead and pull these like the ones that are in a project pan i'm gonna pull them out uh violet voss i used this guy only one time i really like it honestly i kind of prefer um if i want glitter on my eyes or that shimmer on my eyes i prefer something like this or something like this the like loose I, I prefer it more over these guys just because i can like put them exactly where i want if i blink it's not gonna transfer to my top you know like part of my eye um but it was okay i did like it um the color is just beautiful for this time of the year um do i want to keep it or do i want to pull it out i think i'm going to um i'm gonna pull it out i do want to finish that one that let me 
put it back in here so I remembered that I need to finish it. Uh, this Kaja liquid eyeshadow is really really beautiful. I've fallen in love with these thanks to my friend Valerie. She sent me one and I like really fell in love with these. I'm trying to finish that guy. The Marc Jacobs uh, eye sequence. One of my favorite single eyeshadows. Like it's kind of like it's not super I don't know. Is it creamy? I don't know. Is it loose? I don't know. It's kind of like that texture and it leaves like beautiful texture on the eye. It doesn't look chunky. It's not chunks of glitter like the Stila Glitter and Glows. It's so beautiful. Like one of my favorite shadows. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. And this Farsali thing, I honestly didn't use it. I, I need to go ahead and use it. Um, I might not pull too many little products like this because... I would love to finish this one before the year ends. So, uh, for lip products, I'm gonna leave those to the end as well. My foundations, I did have uh, these in here. I had the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Foundation. Um, I mix those two shades to get like my perfect match because I have one it's too light, one it's too deep. Um, I love this foundation, it looks really pretty on the skin. I like to apply it more with a brush than with a sponge. I love it, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. Um, the other one that I had in here is like a BB cream. This is the Sephora Matte Perfection Tinted Moisturizer. This is a foundation, a light, cover, light to medium coverage foundation. It's stunning on the skin. I really, really, really enjoyed how it looked. Um, the color was decent for me this is linen they don't have a very large uh shade selection i think there's like only 18 of them i want to say maybe just 15 but it looks really really beautiful on the skin the fact that it's kind of like lighter coverage makes it easier to use like you don't have to have the same exact uh, shade if it was like super full coverage i would say yes you need like your exact shade but it was really pretty i was very impressed i really enjoyed it um going into my collection uh, for eyeliners, brows, and like lip liners and whatnot. Um, this Tarte uh, setting spray, it's almost empty. I'm going to keep it because I do want to finish it. Uh, the Sephora waterproof eyeliner in Diving in Malaysia. Um, this guy didn't work very well in my waterline. It wouldn't stay in my waterline. It did definitely like move. I typically put it in my waterline a little bit under like uh, my lower lash line and then I smudged it out. It's good for that but if you want if you want it to stay in the waterline it's not it's not the one for that. Uh, this I'm trying to finish this year. This billion dollar brows, I actually did like it. Although it's kind of fat and chunky, um, it's not good for like defining the brow, but to fill them in, it was pretty good. I, I do want to rotate, so I'm gonna pull it out. And I don't know if I pulled this guy in with you guys last time, the Catrice liquid liner. I'm not big on liquid liners, but I had it. I wanted to use it before it dries out, so I pulled it in at some point. And then for eyeshadow palettes, oh, come on. Uh, the Uma Black Magic, uh, this is the Allure palette. This, I really liked it. I, um, I did a, um, I used it a couple times. In one of the times I used it, I filmed the, I filmed, what video was it? And I got a lot of, like, I got comments that, um, you know, my uh, makeup looked really good. And it was this palette. I'm going to go ahead and put it into my collection. Uh, this one. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so easy to use. Although it's super pigmented. It's so buttery. It's absolutely stunning. I love this palette. I wish I discovered it earlier. Well, I'm, I'm pretty happy I discovered it. Um, one of the days as I was going to work and run, running late, I used this shade. And I actually, they do have... Um, name in the back of the palette this is harvest so i use this harvest kind of like all over the lid i blended it also into my crease and then i deepened the outer v with this one which is blood that was it that's all i did and it looks stunning like super beautiful um i want to keep playing with it but i do want to play with some of my older palettes i don't have too many new eyeshadow palettes i think just one um i'm gonna put it back into my collection i'm gonna play with something else that yes some of my older palettes and then the jackie Ina palette i did again i didn't use all of the shades i stuck um I, I haven't touched any of these over here but i created looks with all of these really pretty i do want to go ahead and put it back and get 
maybe I'll pull out the prism palette it's been a long time since I use it from Anastasia I'm gonna put this one back too I, I really like it I would recommend any of these palettes um, if these two I would recommend more than the Uma the Uma one is a um, formula is a little bit drier so unless you like that um, I, I would recommend the other two lip products uh, these are the ones that were in here last time and the only one that I'm actually gonna pull out is this one the Jouet um, it's kind of like a moussey it's a lip cream and the shade is bronze rose it's really pretty uh, I really really enjoy it. super comfortable on the lips I use it by itself a um, couple times and then I use it like top in a different lip shade um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back and I'm gonna go ahead and also put these two back but I'm keeping these um, elf Nabila Noor uh, the liquid lipstick and the lip liner I'm putting these back but I'm gonna keep these and we'll talk about them at the end like at the end when I put everything back in the drawer I'll talk about these and the other lip products that I have for the next two weeks okay let's go ahead and shop my stash for new items to use for the next two weeks this is uh, one of my uh, new makeup drawers from here what I think I'm gonna pull in I'm gonna pull in one of those tart uh, like uh, the holiday sets they're like the trios I'm gonna pull in I think the lightest one I'm gonna do that and what else are you do I want to get from in here um let's see go ahead and pull in oh do I want to try this highlighter I'm gonna go ahead and pull in this highlighter palette the Kathleen lights uh, makeup geek highlighter palette I, I really want to play with this one okay so from this one uh, I pulled in that thing from Tarte let's do one of these uh, let's do one of these foundations why not um, I think I'll go ahead and pull in this one, the Makeup Forever, the Ultra HD Foundation. I'm going to pull this one and I'll do this uh, the little itty bitty um, all nighter because I, I want to finish it. Um, I think I can finish it in two weeks and get it out of my collection. I think, oh, how about we do this guy too? Um, I'll go ahead and pull in this Gigi Gorgeous, like the bronzer. Uh, contour duo that is it I do have a new eyeshadow palette in here that's the only new eyeshadow palette in my collection currently thank goodness I'm able to catch up oh yeah I want to do this one let's bring this in and I think well no I'm not gonna bring it in because what I do want to bring in from uh, my collection like older eyeshadow palette I think it's kind of like very similar color story so I'm gonna skip on that and that's it that's it from here that's all I'm gonna bring in now let's go ahead and do well setting spray I already picked the setting spray for primer I do want to use that one um, I guess we'll just do eyeshadow palettes alrighty you guys let's go ahead and pick out uh, eyeshadow palettes to use for the next two weeks and um, what I really think I want to play with it's been a long time I think I'm gonna try this uh, just peachy mask it's like a really nice uh, I think it's a really nice palette for this time of the year I haven't used it in a long time so I want to pull this guy in it's all matte so I think I want to pull in either uh, this palette by uh, Urban Decay the Moon Dust palette which is like all shimmer toppers I actually really like this um, because it's just shimmer toppers you know uh, I know some people didn't like it because it's all shimmery but I like that the fact that it's shimmer toppers or I might do this one by Colourpop which is very similar um, shimmer toppers as well uh, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do let me see I think I'll do the moon dust um, because yeah, I think I'm going to do the Moon Dust one by Urban Decay. It's older. I haven't used it in a really long time. So I'm going to do this. And I want to pick out one more eyeshadow palette. And I think I'm going to go for the Prism palette by Anastasia. Because again, that is a um, kind of like a fall, wintery palette. Uh, and it's actually one of my favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this guy in. So there we go. There we have it all three older eyeshadow palettes yeah awesome uh, let's go ahead and move on to like foundations and uh, concealers okie dokie for foundations and concealers 
Uh, <laughs> um, I have to travel for work. Actually, I'm traveling tomorrow. So whatever I pick for foundation is going to be going with me on my work trip. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead. I know this guy is pretty easy to use. Um, but I recently used it not that long ago. It's easy to use. It's not... Um, I'm not gonna look like a cake face or anything like that. Not that, you know, any of these foundations gonna make me look like cake face, but it's easy. If I'm brushing in the morning, I can just use it and go. So I think I'm gonna pull this in, uh, the L'Oreal Infla Infla Inflatable, Infallible uh, 24 hour foundation in shades 445. I think my shade is uh, vanilla. So I'm gonna pull this guy in and I want to pull in um, one more foundation for sure. Um, how about we do, kind of want to pull in for this powder foundation by Bare Minerals. Um, yeah, I'm going to pull in for this guy. It's been a really long time since I tried it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I just had this in there, so I don't want to pull it in. Um, There's some that I haven't reached for in a while. Let's do, never mind, I'm gonna put back the bare minerals. I'm gonna do the Line Compton Idol. This is a little too light for me, so I'm gonna pull this in with a mixer. I'm gonna try this. I'm just, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna try these. this combo. The MAC Hyper Real Foundation. This is in Bronze FX with the Tint Idol. Um, I have, what, shade 210? 210 buff neutral. I'm gonna mix the two. I'll, I want to see how they look and if it doesn't work I'll just always reach. I'll just reach for the elf mixer, but I'm gonna pull these two in for concealers I'm gonna do What we do this Milani one? I like this Milani one conceal and perfect and this is actually it was a good shade for me This is light natural We'll do that guy and how about we do let's do one more concealer um, oh, what do I have? I have Elf Camo. Oh, uh, it's been a long time since I used the one by Ulta Beauty. This is like the Ulta Beauty concealer. This is a full coverage liquid concealer. Um, I have the shade Light Warm. So I can travel with the Milani and then the, the Ulta one will be like the one that stays at home. Alrighty, for powders, uh, we're gonna kick it back somewhat old school. I'm going to go ahead and reach for the Laura Mercier Translucent uh, Setting Powder. Um, this Laura Mercier is now at Ulta. Hooray! So we're going to do this guy. And um, I'm going to do, let's see. It's a little too bulky to travel with. So something a little bit smaller uh, that I really do like. Okay. Well, let's do these. I know I really want both of these powders um, because they look really, really nice with the L'Oreal um, foundation. This is the also by Laura Mercier, and this is the Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder, and the shade is two. I really like this powder, and I like to always have this guy as a finishing powder. It's like one of my favorite finishing powders. So I'm gonna pull this guy in as well. So these will be going on travel with me. I know a little excessive for a three day trip, work trip, but it's okay. Illuminating Mineral Veil. Both of these are illuminating mineral veils. Should I try these as a finishing powder while at home? Um, maybe I should do that. Give them a shot. I don't know why I have, well, I have a deluxe size and a full size, but, um, okay, let's go ahead and pull one of these in to use you know, to give it a, to try it. And then for one powder that, um, like to set my face, not kind of like a finishing powder that I could travel with. Um, let's see, I don't remember what I thought about these ones. I know this guy was pretty nice. The essence for under the eye. Uh, this guy essence brighten up banana powder. It's pretty illuminating under the eye. It's actually pretty good and let's do essence all about matte the fixing compact powders a lot of powders yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pull this guy in for um to set my face i'm gonna do this guy the essence all about matte fixing compact powder okay let's go ahead and pull out a face palette and for that uh let's see what do i want to reach for i think so i pulled out um 
that tart it was like the three things it was uh, I think it should be a bronzer a blush and a highlight so we do have that one I think and we have the highlighter blush by um, uh, Kathleen lights so I think I'm gonna do this guy I'm gonna do the the MAC palette blush bronzer and a highlight it would be perfect for traveling with it too so I'm gonna do that one um, let's go ahead and pull out a bronzer maybe two more bronzers okie dokie for bronzer let's do um, I'm gonna go ahead and do I'm gonna do the spare minerals one I know I just recently had it but I, I actually really enjoyed it I'm gonna do the spare minerals the faux tan bronzer and I really it's been a long time since I reached for this guy this is the benefit by uh, the, or Dallas by benefit so this is kind of like a bronzer blush kind of thing so I want to do this one and just one more um, mm, how about I do I'm gonna do the Milani one because again I'm as light as could be so I'm gonna do this Milani one this is uh, the silky matte sunlight silky matte bronzer quite a few options of bronzers so let's do blush okay for blush what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull in this palette by um, by Clinique I think this would be a really nice two blushes and a kind of like a highlight shade and then for a single blush I think I will pick out how about I do a loose blush why not let's do one of these the bare minerals loose blushes I'm gonna do, I don't know, this looks like it could be a little bit more neutral, the Golden Gate one. We're gonna do that. And uh, let's do a couple more highlights. Okay, for highlighter, we do have that Kathleen Light palette, but I, I wanna pull in a couple more options because I don't wanna travel with the Kathleen Light palette. Although I will be traveling with the, with the MAC palette, so don't really need a travel highlight but we'll just do it hey uh, this is um let me see what do I really want to reach for um I really like one of these is the uh, ballerina shade oh I, well I love all of them this is it I'm gonna pull in ballerina it's really I, I love this shade it's very similar to Becca Opal just FYI um, so I'm going to pull this in and I think I will go ahead and pull in, how about we do this one, the Essence Nude Highlighter, this one, and then I think that's kind of enough shades, um, that's, that's quite a few, but I want one more, you know, let's do Prosecco Pop. Prosecco pop. I don't think I've ever used it. I've had it forever. I don't think I've ever actually used this highlighter. So I'm gonna do this one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back in the drawer, and then uh, we'll go back. Uh, I'll come back and I'll uh, show you what it's look what it looks like, and then we'll do swatches. Alrighty, you guys. I went ahead and put everything back in the drawer. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with the powders. I do have the Hourglass Luminous uh, Light powder in here. I have the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder, the shade 2. Um, Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. Essence uh, All About Matte Fixing Powder. And uh, the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. So I have those. I did put this guy in here. Um, this is the Mineral Veil. Because I don't know how... how Is it highlight? Is it going to be... Let's take a look. Well... Okay, so it looks kind of like a diamond glow all over the face, like it would be diamondy glow all over the face, kind of like the luminous light powder. But okay, so we'll see. We'll see how this guy is gonna go. Anyway, so there it is in here. This is the bare minerals mineral veil, the illuminating mineral veil. Um, I did put the there's the here's the Gigi Gorgeous. Uh, the the six sculpt bronze duo and turned and extra. Um, so here we go. I'm assuming that I can mix the two. 
It's pretty actually nice tones to both of them. So I'm really excited to use this guy. Here's the Milani Sunlight, uh, the Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. This is, I, I should have bought shade two, not shade one. Um, oh, actually it's not so bad. I thought it was a lot lighter than that. It's not really that light. Um, I can, I will be able to build it up and not worry about it. Um, Bare Minerals Bronzer, and this is in faux tan. Uh, this guy's really nice. It looks a little bit scary, but it's, it's really nice. Kind of like a hybrid between a bronzer and a contour shade. So, excited for that. And then we have Dallas by Benefit. Um, this guy I do use as both, uh, like a... Instead of doing like a blush and the bronzer, I could just use it for both. Got a really nice tone to it for that. So there it is right there. Or I can just use that as a bronzer by itself. So here we go. Here's that. Um, there are some bronzers in the palettes and then we'll get to those in a, in a minute. Uh, let's do a highlighter next and then we'll do... Yeah, let's do highlighters. Laura Geller, the Big Gelato Illuminator and this is in the shade Ballerina. Make sure my hand is not wet from the wipe. And here we go. It's a beautiful highlight. I really, really like it. I remember when I used, uh, I, I used it more towards the summertime or in the summertime. Everywhere I would go, they'd be like, oh my god, I love your highlight. Like, so. And I love it myself. Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This is kind of like the super subtle highlight. Um but it's really beautiful as well i do like the shade of it i do like uh, it goes really well with my skin tone this is a little bit darker but i don't mind uh, i can make it work uh becca prosecco pop i can't believe i haven't used this guy i had received it in a boxy charm and i just haven't used it it's a, um really golden but it's, it's okay we kind of got like a nice variety of highlights in here and uh again the siate london do stick I kept this in here from last time. I'm really excited to play with this one. I don't know why I didn't choose it yet, but here it is right there. Just leaves a very nice, look, beautiful, healthy glow to the skin. Should we do the, high, the Kathleen Light Highlighter Palette? Next? Let's do that. So I don't know if there's shade Sunlight, Starlight, and Night Light. Um, does it go Sunlight, Starlight, and Night Light? I'm guessing yeah, so. Oh, nice formula. This is the first time that I'll be trying Makeup Geek formula. So here we go. Ooh, really beautiful. I think I need a little bit more of this guy. Huh. Looks like, uh, you know, <laughs> kind of swatch them in a similar manner. So here they all are, all three of them, all three shades. Uh, I'm gonna have a really nice variety of highlights. I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, next in here are blushes. I do have the e.l.f. I kept it from last time. This is the e.l.f. blush and it's blushing rose. Um, it's a really beautiful, um, well, rosy color. Perfect for this time of the year. It does have a little bit sheen to it, um, which is really nice actually. And then this uh, Loose Blush by Bare Minerals. This is the shade Golden Gate. Um, let me see. Let me see if I can get some out so we can do a swatch. Looks like it's uh, kind of like a similar, maybe similar. Ooh. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that's really pretty. Very um, neutral, but still kind of like a, a mauve tone, mauve pink tone to it. Looks really pretty. I'm looking forward to playing with this guy. I do really like the formula of these blushes from Bare Minerals. Well, I've fanned one of them. It was my absolute favorite, but here we go. Here's this one. And we do, let's do the blush palette by Clinique. So this is, two of these are blushes for me, but this one is more of a, ooh, what happened here? This guy is twirly. So we have, here's one blush, two blush, and then here's the highlight. Oh, they look very similar. Here we go again, kind of like unintentionally duping stuff almost. Wow, okay. Way to go, Rania. And so the one uh, part uh, thing that I pulled in, I don't know, was there a shade name to it? 
um, frosty sleigh bells and shimmering this is the gold one frosty sleigh bells and shimmering so a blush a highlighter a matte blush and looks like a shimmery blush or a satiny blush okay here's the highlighter here's one blush and here's blush number two hmm, really pretty i thought that there was a bronzer in here but it's okay i do have quite a few bronzer options okay and then there's the mac palette bronzer blush and a highlight let's do swatches of these bronzer blush and a highlight this was the palette their holiday palette for last year 2018 there it is right there it's so pretty you kind of have to like scrape or i did have to scrape um the top layer of these products to get like a really nice color but it's so beautiful and it's so natural looking on the skin so i'm excited to play with that as well for uh, mascaras i do have well my usual I, I layer all three basically essence lash princess uh lancome monsieur big and the mac uh extended play mascara i do have three uh concealers in here i have the conceal and perfect by milani i have the ulta beauty full cover concealer liquid concealer and the rimmel stay matte which i really need to make up my mind about whether i like it or not so i can keep it or declutter it um for uh uh, primer I only put this guy in because I do have a couple of primers that I'm trying to finish up this is the Smashbox photo finish radiance primer this is in here and I guess this is technically a primer the Farsali liquid glass like radiance make shine serum make skin make skin serum okay whatever uh, Mac Prolon uh, Mac paint pot and the Becca under eye corrector is in here as well uh, for setting sprays I have the all nighter by Urban Decay this will be perfect for travel I have the Tarte stay spray um, which I'm almost done with it not a whole lot left I did pull in this eyeliner this is by Smashbox this is like the self sharpening eyeliner it's a waterproof coal liner and the shade is Penny Lane I'm hoping that this will work really nice in the waterline it is a really beautiful bronzy brown shade um i i really really like it and it self sharpens cool uh i do have four foundations technically these will be mixed together this is the uh, mac uh, hyper real foundation in the shade bronze fx is very bronzy i'm hoping that it will balance out with the lancome Tinty doll, like I can make my own shade kind of thing. I do have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD um, foundation. And this is in the shade Y245. I don't know if this is going to be a good match for me or not. Um, I think this came in a Sephora play a while back. So I'm looking forward to using that. And the Infallible um, by L'Oreal in the shade 445. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the lipsticks. Uh, like I said, I have been doing or I um, I started filming my lip my lip roulette and i'll have that video in the cards above and as well as the description box but i'll go ahead and do the lip swatches for my uh, december picks in addition to those i have these left in here i have this uh pat mcgrath permagel ultra lip pencil in the shade is major which is a really beautiful red um there's that I have this and this is also by Pat McGrath and this is in the shade Revelation or is it Revelation red liquid lipsticks I don't know what the shade name is maybe the shade name is Revelation um I haven't used this guy yet I need to god it's just horrible horrible swatch over there but please ignore that um I do have the Patrick Ta which I actually did use once but I want to use it a little bit more. Um, this is like the mono, monochromatic, monochrome moment, silky lip cream in the shade. I think she's secure. And then this guy, I still haven't used it. This is by Bite Beauty and this is hashtag uh, Bite of NYC. Here it is. It's so pretty. I don't know why I haven't used it yet. I need to get to it. So these are um, in addition to my, uh, to the lipsticks that I pulled in in, um, 
my roulette project. For my roulette project I did have Obsessed lipstick and this is by Pat McGrath. This is kind of like an orangey red. Um, it's still a really beautiful color and I actually am looking forward to using this. Um, really nice uh, variety of colors for the holidays. I have by M Melt uh, Old Rose lipstick. Um, I hope I like it. It's kind of like a, like the one lipstick that I decluttered from last month. But I, I'm looking forward to trying this guy. Hopefully I like the formula or at least I can, it'll give me an idea whether or not I like the formula or not. I have by Rimmel London, um, the shade 360 as you want Victoria. This is a beautiful berry color. Super creamy. It looks amazing on the lips. Looks like gives like a healthy pouty uh, look to the lips. I have by Tristique the matte lip crayon and this is Belize Bordeaux. This is also another really beautiful lip color. Um, it does require building up but that's okay. Um, kind of like a berry look to the lips. There's not a lot of product in there. Might consider using that guy up by Laka, Laga, L A Q A. Um, this is the Cloud Lips, and this is the shade Sun Shower. I did. I was wearing this lipstick when I filmed my uh, roulette uh, lipstick roulette video. So if you want to see what it looks like, there it is right there. It was really beautiful. I really enjoyed it, and I wore it with this lip liner. And this is. Um, the shade Lust by Lamasca. This came in a boxy charm. So they looked really beautiful together. I I did that and I also had this lip liner which is the Urban Decay Glide On lip pencil the shade Ozone. I did have this guy on like um the outside so the color doesn't bleed. It doesn't have a shade um, to it but it's supposed to like make your lip like lipstick stay in place and doesn't bleed into like you know, the wrinkles around your lips. I do have this guy by Victoria's Secret and this is um, like a shimmery lip gloss and this is the shade Randy. Um, they don't make these anymore and I'm so sad that they don't but I had purchased a few of these because I really, really liked how it looked. I gave some to my mom as a gift and I've used, a, used up a couple of these. And I do have this liquid uh, lipstick. This is by Too Faced, the Melted Matte, and this is Pumpkin Spice. Again, uh, a perfect color to use like this time of the year. I'm really looking forward to it. I really like the formula of these and the scent and the colors. This also was the holiday, last holiday, 2018. I do have NARS uh, Power Matte Lip Pigment in the shade American Woman. Again, this is a beautiful everyday lipstick. Um, I think this would be perfect for work, so I might travel with this guy um, next week. Although the weather is gonna be really cold, I might need something more hydrating. Um, there it is, and a couple more. I do have two lip glosses. I have the Milani, like a lip, keep it full nourishing lip plumper, and this is the shade Natural Lust. Um, it's, it, I, I, I kind of reminds me of the Fenty like lip gloss. There it is right there. It's not a lot of product in here compared to the Fenty one, but it's beautiful lip gloss. I really do enjoy it. I do have a liquid lipstick. I forgot to mention this. Um, this is the Wet n Wild uh, Liquid Cat Suit in Shall We Slay. Um, this might be a lipstick that I will declutter at the end of December. Uh, I, I don't reach for gray lipsticks like this and it's gray, like a metallic gray lipstick. So this might be a declutter. And then the last la, li, um, lip gloss is by Bare Minerals and this is Attention Seeker. Again, this is something that's, it might be a declutter as well. It just looks too, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to play with this guy on top of other lipsticks um, to see like if the shade works with other lipsticks or not. Okay, so for eyeshadow palettes, I pulled in three. Uh, here we are. The Moon Dust by Urban Decay. Um, this is a, it's not a like a standalone eyeshadow palette. It's more like a topper palette, but I, I, I really like it. You can kind of transform any look. Um, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do this purple. I'm gonna just swatch a couple of these for you. So here's the purple. Um, I, I don't know their names. Do they even have names? 
so like you can top any eyeshadow look with these to kind of like take it to the next level perfect for holidays so i'm really looking forward to playing with this i want to do this guy too oh they do have names oopsies sorry guys i didn't mention the names this guy reminds me of mac uh what is it the, their holiday one from last year and they brought it back this year in their face compact palettes so here's here are a couple swatches from the moon dust palette okay and then next in here is the anastasia prism palette one of my absolute favorite eyeshadow palettes was it last year or was it the year before that she came out with this one i'm not sure um <laughs> you can tell this is my favorite shade in the palette throne it's like that uh green um let's do this guy doesn't swatch very well and it's kind of well we'll just do a swatch of this guy um how about we do this one and then let's do this guy lucid so lucid um throne look at this beautiful green shade and here's that yellow shade and the brown super pigmented uh i actually really like this palette I really like the formula and I really like the sheets themselves. Um, should I do a couple more? Let's do Sphinx, making sure my fingers are not wet. Osiris, let's do this guy, Eternal. Let's watch in all the shimmery shades just to show you their beautifulness. Okay. Here you go. There you have it. And the last eyeshadow palette is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. Let's do, how about we do Peach Hut, Peach Tart, Just Ripe, um, Peach Sangria, and let's do Peach Tea. Ooh, ooh, I dipped into that too much. Ooh, yeah. See, I, I like, I mean, the formula is pretty nice, but it needs work, you know, because it kind of looks patchy. But again, these are swatches. These are not um, like with a brush. But I remember I really enjoyed the formula of this one compared to other Too Faced formulas. So this is it, you guys. This is the end of my video. Um, if you stayed all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching. And if you just watched a portion, again, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you do subscribe before you leave. Give this video a like so if you enjoy Shop My Stash videos or if you enjoy my video, it helps on my channel. And um, i like to know if you guys enjoy these videos or not. Um, thanks again so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.